Well, here we are everybody, the old tummy's rumbling away. Can only mean one thing. Must be tea time. And what have us got here today? We've only been and got ourselves a girt hell of a pasty. Look at that for a blinking beauty, eh? She's some blinking thing. Gosh, she didn't want to come off the tray there. There we are, look. And some job, hell of a pasty. Mind you, I have heard some posh people pronounce it hello of a pasty, but uh, well, everyone please ourselves which day they say it. it. Reminds me of a song. Proper job, thank the Lord for Cornwall. Proper job, pasty in my hand. Anyhow, look, look at him, he's some beauty. He's piping up straight from the oven. And well, I, do, I, got, I, do, I got a funny feeling there's a lot of you out there that haven't already learned the way to eat a proper pasty yet. So I'm going to show you the proper way to eat a proper pasty. And this is what you call a blinking proper pasty. He's even smiling at me there. Look, that's a fine, fine sign of a fine pasty that is. Now we chop them up, chop them up, scat them right abroad, like that there, chop them up. Lovely. Put them abroad, split them open, and so. Once you've got them abroad like that, you can then have some milk. The finest quality Cornish milk you can get. We produce it here on the farm for Rodders Creamery. And you pour it over the pasty, like so. And don't be shy, take and spoil yourselves and put a nice drop on that, all right? Now, there's a few benefits to this. One, it adds to the taste. I, I would say it adds to the taste. Oh, it does indeed. But secondly, when you're in a bit of a hurry, you want to get on and he's piping up like this, steam rising up, flying. Oh, I tell you what, he's cooking down in no time and you can just get on and eat in the way handsome. So anyhow, I better wait get on. I got a pasty here to eat. See you again, my beauties.